there it is it'll be coming any second the notification that's all we're waiting for bam there it is trap my ride is live what is up trappers we are back check this out this is what i have i have the adapters that came off the trap blazer we use these two years in a row to change the lug pattern from the trailblazer lug pattern to a full size Chevy wheel pattern like a Silverado or a Suburban or a Tahoe Escalade uh, any of those full size uh, six hub six lug uh, Chevy wheels so the trailblazer pattern some of you guys don't know it is not they're not all the same guys all those hubs are not the same and those hubs being not the same you have different lug patterns they're different distances from each other from the center or something I'm not really sure but anyway the important part is place in California made these for me and everybody says you know don't use these whatever you know that they're bad you know your ball joints whatever well we're gonna see after two years two summers of these on on a set of 22 inch wheels and another set on a large 26 inch set of wheels how the studs held up how the adapters held up and uh if they're safe to use again for another year or next summer you know or if, if we're going to use them again or do i need to get another set what's the deal here um uh, let me pull these glasses off my face so i can see all right guys check this out i've explained this in the video when we put these on the importance of putting this on properly I can't really get my finger through here I don't really have anything to stick through there to show you as I'd like to I didn't really plan that out as well maybe I should have but anyway guys okay you have your trailblazer wheel pattern right here on the side they were nice enough to stamp it on it says 6500 to 6550B I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera or not it's etched in there I don't know if this camera can see it or not either. Let's see where exactly is it. It's right here on the end of my finger. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see right here. Damn, I hit the string a little bit. But yeah, it's right there. Anyway, it tells the lug pattern. And it takes a 6.5 uh, millimeter or something like that. I'm not sure what it is, guys. I think that's what it is. 6.5, uh, let's just say millimeter. Because I think that's what it is. I don't really know. But anyway, it's a 6.5 uh lug pattern and it's going to convert it to the 6.55 which is larger so i'm i really am assuming that's millimeter guys somebody getting notifications to let me know if i'm wrong about that maybe it's centimeters or something i don't know i don't know what they use but it's 6.5 to 6.55 so okay so what happens is you take your wheel off your vehicle and this goes on where your wheel would normally go your lug nuts from your hub go through these holes and then you take your lug nuts of course tedium 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 anyway you take your lug nut and then you would put it on the lug and fix this on where your hub would go and it's going to give a space between where the hub would normally go so it's going to change your offset a little bit but it's going to change the pattern too these are on here for a reason so that way I can run a 10 inch with pretty much a standard offset and it clears my uh, front ball joints my upper ball joints in the front of that blazer so anyway guys these go on they get torqued but this is what I was trying to explain to people uh, the spring when these went on there's the expression uh, riding to the wheels fall off and this is where that comes from so let me explain this to you if you're going to ride to the wheel falls off Okay, here's how you do this. When you put this on your hub, if your lug nut or if your stud, if it sticks out past the edge of this at all, that's what you need. If you're going to ride to the wheels fall off, you need them all to stick out as far as they can like that and then just leave them. Put your lug nuts on and then put your wheel on where it goes and I promise you, you can ride to the wheels fall off because you will break this. You will break the studs where they go, you'll just bust them off. Uh, what happens is, is that with that stud sticking out of there and it not being flush against this edge causes a gap and your wheel doesn't go on all the way it catches where those go and there's just no way to get it tight and to like really get it balanced and on really right so 
you break these studs off, man. That's how you ride till the wheels fall off. Now, if you want this to go on and work the way it's supposed to year after year, time after time, and you don't have to uh, worry about riding till the wheels fall off, if you like to keep your wheels on your vehicle, the key to this is when your stud comes through the hole, when it pokes out, if it's sticking past any at all, cut it off. Just take a die grinder and just cut it off so it's flush with this or below. And then take your lug nut and put it on and torque it on. That way when your wheel goes on and it sits on these lugs, it goes up against this surface here. All across here the way it's supposed to and there's no gap in that lug because you'll sure as hell break that lug guys. So if you get these on right, you really shouldn't have any problem. And uh, let me share this with you. I was watching an, a YouTuber here from Indiana, uh, Whistling Diesel. It's actually a pretty cool show, man. He's uh, a lot different than what we do, but I still appreciate it. It's still great. The guy, he's got a great show. He's very entertaining, real good at what he does. I like the show. But he had literally like a truckload or two truckloads of these things. Uh, in the back of this truck that he was putting, uh, what episode was that? That was the 20 foot, that was the 20 foot wheels that they built, built out of wood and like stuff they welded together. And he had so many spacers because the wheels needed offset because they overlapped because they were so large. So anyway, that's besides the point. But he had a truckload of these from, uh, I don't know, someplace that probably sponsors him if he's got that damn many. But, uh, yeah, he uses the hell out of them on the 20 foot wheels and like these things all stayed together on that truck even when the wheels collapsed and the thing fell over uh these stayed on the hub against the 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 metal plate and everything so if you put these on right guys and use your heads you won't ride till the wheels fall off you can ride till you take your wheels off and you get new ones there's justin justin huntsberger i do believe man i think this guy I just seen sell me the jaguar fam if you want it man just get a hold of me if you wanted this in hit me up in the inbox it's posted for sale click the link go to the facebook market message me man you can get it it's for sale i'm just sitting in it just for giggles because i haven't let it run in a couple days so i figured i'd come out and start it and do these videos so uh yeah if you want it man just hit me up but uh that's the deal with the spacers guys and how do they fare on the trap blazer I looked at all of them guys they're not cracked or dinged and all the lugs seem good they are corroded you can see the corrosion on them but there's nothing wrong with that there's not cracked or busted or nothing uh, I think my torque settings for my wheels when these go on the hub uh, the torque is set for I do believe like factory is like 110 foot-pounds so I just that's what I torqued these two when they went on and I just made sure the wheels were torqued to the same thing I understand that that 26 is a larger wheel this is a larger hub so uh, it's got larger larger studs larger lug nuts than the trailblazer so it's a little different but if you put these on right guys you, you won't have any problems and I checked the ball joints out on the blazer too just to see they're not any crappier than they were before the wheels went on and I drove it all the way to Battle Creek to help uh, the guy with the Jaguar last night and that's like an hour and a half almost two hour drive from where I'm at one way and we drove all the way up we drove on the freeway on the way up there 80 90 miles an hour it's got all them heavy all that audio equipment in the back the amps DSP batteries capacitors speakers speaker boxes all that's back there and uh, it rode nice, a lot nicer than it did with the big wheels, a lot softer ride, that's for sure. But we didn't have any problems with it, man, we really didn't. So hopefully knock on some of this <laughs> Jaguar wood grain everywhere. Hopefully it keeps doing good, we don't have any problems, guys. But uh, no, I went over all these, I checked them all out, I always inspect them. Uh, they'll sit up until the big surprise comes. So they'll sit around waiting for that project just like they did this spring when they waited for the sixes to go on uh if you guys check out blazers and suvs like that uh i want to see pictures of blazers with big rims i want to see uh pictures of like the biggest rims you've seen on a trailblazer uh those 26s are the biggest ones i've seen on a trailblazer so far so if anybody has me beat i want to know um Lots of people tied. I've seen I've seen a few uh, trailblazers with 26s. There's a few on 
I'm not sure if there's any 28s. I know there's a video on YouTube that guys that said they were 28s, but when you look at his tire, they say that they're a 25 ZR26. So, uh, you know, he's right there with us. And I didn't even run a 25. That was like a uh, 295, 35 ZR26 with an extra load. Uh, like, that's a regular truck tire. <laughs> so I didn't run no skinny skinny on that thing, guys. We did that for real. Um, I don't know how to work out with the big, big wheel. I got to take some measurements and uh, see what's available. But I can get my paws on for that thing. I really want 32s, but, you know, don't we all? But anyway, guys, these things, if you're done right, you're not going to have any problems. If you're putting these on your vehicle and you have any questions or you want to know something, get a hold of me, guys. I'll tell you everything I know that can help you. Uh, I don't know about the eBay ones or the Borla, like the black ones that are all, like, four hundred dollars this set i had a machine shop in southern california make for me uh they just do machining and i said hey i need a set of hubs and this is what i need to do because this is what i'm doing i got a lol <laughs> and uh yeah we can take care of that and pretty much uh this is the gap that they recommended and this is what i went with and so far it's work and we're going to keep going with it. So for now, guys, these are going to get put up. They're all good. Like, we can go over them all in detail, but no better than you can see with this camera. Just take my word. You'll see them again in the spring, and they'll go back on the same way. So hopefully, we can use these. No further problems. My ball joints are fine. The trap blazer is okay. I was thinking about doing a light show maybe in a little bit. The train irritates me, guys. I really want to figure out a way to silence it, but I don't think there's a way. But, uh... I was thinking about doing a light show tonight. It's warm out here, guys. Uh, and I'm just hanging out. I'm just glad to be able to do some videos. I haven't done any in a couple days. But I definitely wanted to do this. You guys want to see that trap blazer without its wheels? It's so It looks so funny. It looks so small. But uh, that's what it is. Anyway, guys, I'm getting off here. We're going to cut this out. I'm on the other things. Let's see. Where's this at? Here we go. There we go. That's more of my taste, guys. That's a little better. Maybe we'll get the rest of these lights going and get the trap blazer, even on its factories. Who cares? But who knows? There might be a set of IROX in the future, 28s, or maybe something else. We'll see. But uh, that's what I got in mind, guys. That's definitely what I'm thinking. If you're here just watching the video, make sure to like, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget, even in a pandemic, you got to keep on trapping, guys. Keep on trapping.